So starting off with a quick leave, you just want to mold the hair down with some regular gel. You can use any gel of your choice. I'm using Eco Styler Gel. Normally I use Softy, but I'm actually like all out of it. But I have this big tub of Eco Styler Gel, so this is what I'm using. And um, I'm putting her hair into two ponytails. I find that that makes it flatter in the back because you don't have that one ponytail, like that big hump just right in the middle of the uh, back of the head. So I'm smoothing it down with the hard bristle brush. This is my second ponytail. I've already done the other side. And I'm just um, making that ponytail with a rubber band. Next I braid each ponytail. This just helps to make it flat. And also protects the hair a little better. And when I put the rubber band on the end, I, um, I kind of can't explain it, but I make sure it's like a ball at the end so that hair doesn't like stick out. And when you put um, putting that glue on it, it's not breaking the hair off when it's time to take it out. So you make want to make sure you're protecting the hair at all costs with a sew-in, quick weave, anything. And here I am um, putting wrap strips on her hair. After I put these all on her, she's going under the dryer. And this took a long time to dry, y'all. <laughs> quick weaves take forever to dry. And she was under the dryer for a good hour and a little bit over an hour. Here I'm spraying the Suave Extra Hold Holding Spray on her hair. It's, I really love this stuff. It's just as good as spritz. And you just want to make sure you spray in a spritz or a holding spray on top of the mold just to make an extra layer of protection. So here I'm just putting a cap on my client's hair. When you're doing extensions, especially um, a quick weave, you want to make sure you're using a cap that gives you like the ultimate protection on your client's hair. Or even if you just use that, I forget what it's called, but it's like a 30 second type of hardening thing for quick weave that also works great where you don't have to use a cap but I just like to use the cap because most of the glue gets on the cap and not on my client's hair and she has two packs of this live Brazilian human hair in 10 inches the process is simple I just measure the track on um, the length that I need it to be I add glue to the web I blow dry the glue so it can be nice and tacky and then once I put it on the cap I blow dry it again to make sure it's hardened up on there and then I just repeat the process it's really really simple And this is just an extra step that I do. You don't really have to do this. But I just like to make sure the cap is tight and there's no extra, you know, sagging off. So I just cut the top of the cap and then I'll add tracks on top of it to close up the hole just to make sure that, um, that the cap is really tight. And I just want to point out when doing the tracks on the edges, you don't want to put it like at the very edge. You want to leave maybe a half an inch of the natural edge and then put the you know, extensions past that just so you don't have a breakage on the edges.
now at the top where the lead body is this is where I cut the cap off and basically you just want to lift up the black stocking cap and just cut like in in the shape that it's going I do like to leave a little bit of um, a little bit of the cap on there so I can glue the remaining tracks like onto the cap so to, to make sure it's like snug on there I hope that makes sense <laughs> Then as you can see, I add one more track to the perimeter of the leave out just to get that leave out blending really good and to, um, to make sure that cap is secure. Want to see how I got my tapered TWI? Well, just stay tuned. <laughs> 